Yes, it is warm, unseasonably warm. It has been for several days and it will continue to be so for the next several days until our next cold front on Friday. Here we are in the southeast looking good, really quiet right now. Very active weather though over the plains right now. You can see from Texas into Oklahoma and Kansas. Look at this lineup of tornado warnings happening, including some confirmed tornadoes and severe thunderstorm warnings happening right now across Kansas, especially. And then over in California, you can see that system now not bringing rain really to the Southern California area, but actually a chilly rain is expected there with another wave of some moisture for tomorrow and into the next couple of days in Southern California. So active in some spots and even as Whitney was mentioning where it's not extremely obviously active. We are looking at those near record temperatures through this week, but really for the next several days, we're just staying warm. We'll be near those record highs in the lower to middle 80s. We do expect rain perhaps Thursday night and then next weekend is looking much colder Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That's our next hit of the chilly air. Right now, 76, we hit our highs. I showed you earlier at 80 degrees and we weren't near our record for today, but we are going to be close to that in the lower 80s. The next several days we have 70s right now. Winds from the south, just a touch breezy in a few spots near 12 to 15 miles per hour. And here's our planner through tonight. Your Sunday night looking good, but not super cold as we bottom out with temperatures tonight near 70 degrees. We'll say maybe middle to upper 60s for the official low early tomorrow. But again, when you wake up, will likely already be in the 70s. Some patchy fog is possible, but we're not looking for the same kind of setup we've had a few nights ago where we saw more widespread fog. No fog advisory is in effect at this point. Tomorrow, temperatures around 83 expected, warm, breezy, a mix of sun and clouds, and the winds you can see will be up to about 20 miles per hour, maybe even some higher gusts as a little disturbance passes to our north, but doesn't really affect us very much where we are in Louisiana, aside from a few increased clouds and those slightly stronger winds from the south. This is tonight through the night and into tomorrow. Again, 7 a.m., 70 degrees for most of us. Here we are though through the day, Partly cloudy skies, not expecting a lot of rain, an outside chance for a stray shower perhaps, but anything with that system, which is you can saw earlier just out to the west over the central US, that's going to stay with all of its big effects way off to the north and west of us. And then this is 4 p.m. tomorrow, 80 degrees, partly cloudy, overall a pretty nice day, but we will be looking for those warm conditions. And then by 10 p.m. we're back to about 70. Now looking at the next several days, these are the kind of highs we're looking at all the way through Thursday. We've been looking at highs like this over the past several days and check out that average high for this point in the year 69 degrees. That would be a seasonable temperature. Instead, we're in the 80s, but we do get there eventually Friday, Saturday and Sunday is looking much colder. Keep in mind this week, the all time February high temperature, the hottest it's ever gotten on record at the airport is 85. Uh, that was set in 1972 on today's date. So if we do get to 84, 85, I mean, that's the hottest that it's ever been in February and we'll be close to that in the next several days. Now for Thursday night, if you're curious, here we are Thursday during the day, some rain out to the north. Here's our next front getting ready to move through. I've paused it here around 3 a.m. Thursday night into Friday morning, and you can see some showers and storms. At this point, it looks like heavier storms or stronger storms might be to the north of us, but we'll keep our eye on it with showers and a few storms that night ahead of the chilly and sunny weekend. So this weekend we were hanging out in the 80s, Next weekend, we'll be back in the 60s. And if you're out early in the day, look at these lows north of the lake. You'll be back in the 40s, it looks like, and south of the lake, 50s to start the days next weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. So there's your seven day forecast. The warmth continuing a wall of 80s through Thursday, and then we get that cool down Friday, and I think it'll last through the entire weekend. And the cool down is what we need, especially if you want some good fish.